Hello, my fellow travelers. Let me know if that works. Okay, I can't tell. It's me on the Eros, and I want to put out a final statement on the entire Daniel Pratt situation, which, frankly, I hope I can put behind me, and I hope Dan can put it behind himself, too. And I'm very tempted to make subtle cryptic threats, which I can definitely follow through on in this video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take a step back, I'm going to take a deep breath, and realize that maybe things have gone a little too far, and while that is partly Dan's fault, it is partly my fault as well. You see, we both escalated. Of course, only one of us escalated to the point where his Nazi fans decided to start threatening to kill me. That was only one of us that let it get to that point. But I did push Dan. But let me explain myself, okay? I pushed Dan because this is a man who sits in front of his iPhone every a few times a week and makes long-winded rants about the Flat Earth Movement. Mind you, very few of his rants are actually about the Flat Earth. No, Dan is just an attacker. He's a provocateur, like I am. Except all of his provocations are confined to the Flat Earth Movement. Still, Dan is a person who will spread malicious lies and gossip and slander about people without a second fucking thought. And he doesn't call it satire like I do. For instance, when I say Dan has an Xtube video, I expect that only retards will believe me, okay? Because it says it's fucking satire. So it's not slander, it's me making a joke about you. And let me explain the purpose of that joke as well. You see, our first go-around was months ago, Dan, and I made a video about how dumb you were for believing in the flat earth, blah, 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 blah. Your natural response was to start calling me a faggot and a bitch boy and basically make fun of me for being gay. And so I thought to myself, wouldn't it be much funnier if, even though I am gay, more people imagined Daniel Pratt with a big dick in his mouth? Wouldn't that be hilarious? And wouldn't that be just desserts for a fucking homophobe like Daniel Pratt? Isn't that what someone like him deserves? And yes, I know my face is very shiny today. Fuck off. But my point here is simple. I was giving you what you fucking give out, Dan. Alright? I'm hitting you with your own fucking tactics, you stupid asshole. Don't you understand? I'm just doing the same thing to you that you do to other people. I'm making a point. Which is why I can call it satire, because that's the fucking point of satire. It's to make a point through ridicule and humor. Alright? So that's why I attacked you in such ways, Daniel. And then I became friends with Patricia. And I saw that you attack her the same way, with your malicious and slanderous lies, saying that she's a shill who works for the government, is basically responsible for aiding in the murder of innocent people and the perpetuation of lies around the world. But she's not. She's a normal fucking person who is passionate about something and has a, an entertainment uh, streak in her. And so she's trying to make entertaining videos and trying to entertain people with her thoughts about what she's passionate about. And you spread malicious lies and slander. And so I would naturally defend her. And, you know, I did push it. I pushed it. But when I say you're a CIA shill, I also fucking said that it was a joke repeatedly in the same goddamn episode. So nothing I said about you was meant to be taken as true, except for the welfare and disability thing, which I'm pretty sure that is true. But either way, Daniel, for you to send your followers to strike my channel, to flag down my videos, to try to silence me, and then to have your followers come over and threaten to fucking kill me, all because I made a joke about you in the same way that you say shit about other people, that's your reaction? This big tough guy got to send his minions to shut me up using threats of violence and censorship? That's your response, Daniel? You should be ashamed of yourself, honestly. You should really be disgusted with yourself that you would resort to something like this because you can't handle me. Little old me, who you always make fun of for being so irrelevant. If I'm so irrelevant, why do you have to shut me up that way? Why?
But anyway, I've got all that off my chest, so I just want to say, I don't want any more death threats. I don't want to have to call in favors to protect myself. So, Daniel, I will leave you the fuck alone. If you leave me the fuck alone, talk your shit about me. I don't care. Call me a faggot. Call me a Jew. Say I work for Mossad, which I clearly fucking work for Mossad. Say whatever you want about me. But do not threaten me. And do not try to censor me. All right? Because I don't want to have to sink to your level to defend myself. But I will if I have to, because it is about survival. Okay? So, anyway, that's all I have to say. And I will see you guys in the next video. The new show is probably starting tomorrow, all right? Adios.